There's nothing quite as satisfying as using up a makeup product. This is Gossip Girl PK and today we're going to talk about the makeup items that I'm planning on finishing up or making progress on this year. But before we get started, just a polite reminder to hit the subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you care. So let me just start by apologizing for not uploading a project man finale last year. I know it's quite a bummer if you've been following my project man videos. Um, it was my first time doing a project man and I did make quite a reasonable amount of progress on a lot of different products that I selected but I have learned quite few things from my selection last year and I'm going to incorporate all of those learning points in what I select this year for my project plan but I've mentioned this before on my channel I was traveling to Pakistan from the end of um, 2017 all the way to March 2018 and Back there at home, my filming equipment was not the same. My filming space was not the same. We always have quite a few kids hanging around at my parents' place. And despite all of that, I did film a project pan finale, but I couldn't upload it because I got really, really sick at the end of 2017, all the way to like the second week of January. I developed a really bad bronchitis and so I just couldn't upload it. So I'm really sorry that I couldn't upload a finale last time. Uh, by the time I got to it, it was already too late and then the footage was not that great. So I just, I just didn't upload it. But anyways, let's just quickly jump right into these products that I'm planning on making progress on this year. I don't plan on finishing up all of these products. That's my empties project. I'm planning on finishing up 75 full size and deluxe size products this year, but I plan on doing an empties project or the empties video separate. So for a lot of these products, and I mention them as I go, I don't plan on finishing them. I just plan on making good progress on them. Then there's a good number of products in here that I actually really want to finish up. So anyways, because we have a lot of products to talk about, let's just quickly jump right into by the way just to let you guys know i've been working on these products since january but since i wasn't in china for the first two months and i wasn't uploading that many videos here on youtube i didn't get to talk about them before and i was already beginning to make and see some progress in some of these products so i just really quickly wanted to film today's video because half of the fun of project planning is in actually sharing with the world how much progress you've made on these products so for some of these products you'll be actually able to see some progress marks but that's because i've been working on these products since then. all right so let's start with primers i have two primers right here and for these two i do plan on finishing both of them up this is the makeup forever step one smoothing primer it's the one that comes in great packaging is basically just a pore filling primer i only use it right about here where i have larger pores i don't use it all over my face but i plan on finishing this up because i feel like i do have some good progress on this already i have had it for a while and i do have a lot of other pore filling primers as well in my collection that i would like to get to so i mean i do want to use this up first because it's probably the oldest pore filling primer in my collection i think i am right about here i will mark it after i'm done filming this video and maybe insert a picture as well but i think i have a feeling i can finish this up by the end of the year even though i use a really small quantity of it but i'm hopeful this is my nyx angel whale primer this is actually one of the products that i added to my project plan right away i have been working on it right from january and when i started using this product in january i was about here and this is how much progress I've made in the last four months. So that's quite a lot of progress and I use it all the time. I really love this primer. So I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to finish this entire thing up well before 2018 ends. So I have two primers that I would like to use up by the end of 2018 and I have two foundations that I would like to use up for 2018. That's quite ambitious, I know, but I'm thinking I will be able to do this because I already have good progress on both of these foundations. So I wanted to include something that was a little more full coverage and then i wanted to include something that was a little more lightweight and good for daily use so this is the garnier bb cream if you're from pakistan you've seen it everywhere this is available at every major makeup supply store it's a really good bb cream one of my favorites i'm not exactly sure where i'm at right now if i had to guess i would say i'm right about here so i already have used up 
quite a lot of this product and finishing this up would not be an issue but this is another story this is the makeup forever ultra hd stick foundation and stick foundations if you if you've used one you would know that they are really difficult to use up and even though i have used up quite a lot of this i have had it for a while this was my and it's still one of my favorite foundations ever it was my holy grail for the longest period of period of time and for the longest period this was also the most expensive foundation in my collection and one of the very few ones so I used it only on special occasions and I would be very discreet with it but now that I'm blessed to have a ton of other good foundations in my collection I'm just I, I'm just okay with using this up and I already have another one of this in a different shade so I mean I really would like to go through this I would not like to waste this product because this was expensive so I don't know if you guys can see from far away but I'll try and insert a close-up of this I have used quite a lot of this product but there is still a lot to go and stick foundations are difficult to go through so I have this much product left I'll mark this on like a paper or something to keep track of it but I think this will easily last me for the next six seven months and i'll barely be able to finish this up if i use it every single day but this will definitely be a challenge and i mean there should be some challenges in your project but again i have two concealers that i would like to go through both of these are from maybelline both of these i think i'm half done with already so this is by maybelline fit me this is my maybelline age rewind i really like both of these concealers but since getting my hands on the Tarte shaped it that seems to be the only concealer i ever really reach for so i would like to go through these older ones from my collection as quickly as i can because it's not really nice to have your cream products sit around for too long so i would like to use them up before the year ends okay so i have a one powder product and i still think it's going to be a challenge using up even though last year i learned that powders were easier to go through than creams and i did use up all of my face powders that i included in last year's project pan the laura mercier one the nyx hd one the elf one i did end up using up all of those but with this I feel like I have so many new powders in my collection that I am obsessed with and those are the only powders that I reach for the most that I even though I really like this powder I don't think I'll be able to use this up so I would just like to see myself hit pan on this and if I can use this up that would be great as well but my goal for this product would not be to finish this up but I would like to see myself make some good progress on this since I spent so much money on this product this is a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder and I just spent way too much money on this so I would like to see myself get a good use out all right up next is this cream contour this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess a teeny tiny sample of that and I've had it in my collection for way too long with time I've learned to never again pick a cream contour blush or highlight because I'm that idiot who always powders her face without using these products I would really literally take it out of my collection and tell myself that I'll use it today and then I would just completely forget it powder my face and then be like oh damn it now I can't use it and I already know I'm gonna be forgetting to use this more than half the time this year as well but if I don't end up using this up by the end of the year I would definitely toss it away because this is a little too old to be used in 2019. Up next I have this matte radiance highlight by laura mercier it was one of my favorite highlights for the longest period of time i just couldn't get enough of it but again it's pretty old in my collection and at that time i didn't have that many highlights in my collection so i would reach for it all the time but now that i have a ton of highlights in my collection i don't really give it as much love as it deserves so it make, makes me kind of sad so i really want to bring it to front and center and would like to start using using it again so for this product my only goal is to basically um, get rid of this dome shape at the top i would like to flatten the dome out i just wanted to bring it back to front and center in my collection and use it a little bit more this year okay so i have two mascaras that i would like to finish up this year i'm really close to finishing this one up already this is a chinese mascara it's called the flamingo feather slender mascara everything about this mascara from the packaging to the wand to everything basically reminds me of my butterfly voluminous mascara from l'oreal uh, this is probably a really good dupe for that one a chinese dupe for that one but anyways i've really been enjoying this mascara it's probably the only tubing mascara that i have in my collection and i love that during the day when i have to wash my face it 
it's just there it never runs down and at the end of the day all i have to do is basically rub my eyes with a little bit of warm water and the mascara just starts coming off in tubes and that's it so it's really easy to remove as well and just a really good mascara in my collection but since i'm already making some good progress on this mascara i thought why not add it to my project pan and secondly i wanted to use up my it, Co it cosmetics superhero mascara i talked about it recently in my favorites video and i really like how it makes my lashes voluminous and lengthy but it's not waterproof and I have a ton of unopened mascaras that I would like to get to so I just want to use this up as quickly as possible. So I have two lip products that I want to work on this year and last year another thing that I learned was lip products and eyeshadows and bronzers. These products you never really go get through. They are never ending. So I wanted to choose something that was a little easier for me to go through. First of all is this lip liner. This is the button lip liner from Colourpop. And um, as much as I would not like to use this up because they don't make this color anymore, this is my favorite lip liner. I use it every single time. If you go back to some of my videos and you look at the description box and see what I'm wearing on my lips, a lot of the times the lip liner I'm pairing my lipsticks with is this one. So I use it all the time and I know, I just know I'll be done with this by the end of the year. So why not include it in a project plan, you know, just to make myself feel better. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna work on this and finish this up. And then hopefully we'll find a dupe for this because it's just a really beautiful shade and Colourpop doesn't make it anymore. I just don't know why. And the other lip product that I would like to work on is this Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. It is the lip gloss I am wearing on top of that lip liner that I just talked about. I am not at all a lip gloss kind of gal. I am wearing one today, but I mean, I rarely ever wear them. You have to let me know in the comments down below if this looks good on me because I am more of a matte lip kind of gal. I like a matte look on me, um, but if I ever have to reach for a gloss, this is the one that I would reach for because it's probably the only gloss in my collection or no i do have a couple of uh, colourpop lip glosses too but these are like the only two or three lip glosses in my collection so i mean there's a good chance that i will be able to finish this up this year which is why it's here in my project um mac fix plus it's a it's a good setting spray i mean but i have never been blown away by this You guys will have to excuse the dog barking downstairs. I'm sitting in my window and even though the window is closed, you can clearly hear the dog in the background. This dog never stops barking. I know I don't know whose dog that is, but we are so sick of him barking all night long. We're so sick of this dog. I'm sorry. I know people around the world feel about dogs like they feel about their kids. But I personally am scared of animals. I don't hate them and I would not wish cruelty on them. But I just, I just, I'm just too scared of him. But anyways, let's continue with Project Pan. I don't know. I know it's a holy grail product. A lot of people swear by it. But I was never super impressed by this product. I spent good money on this in Pakistan but I still was never impressed maybe this wasn't original I don't know but I like my aloe vera and chamomile facial mist that I get here in China way more than I like this for setting the makeup and for prolonging the wear of my make makeup both and they cost me less than five dollars I mean it's not bad but it's definitely not my favorite and I spent good money on this which is why I would just like to use this up this and then this is the last product that I expect to finish up by the end of the year there are three more products that I still need to talk about that I don't expect to finish up but I would like to use up my clean it zero by vanilla co it's a makeup cleansing balm and i really like it to remove makeup from my face but around my eyes this stuff has something in it that really irritates my eyes i cannot stop itching my eyes for days if this product ever really gets near my eyes so i just have to go through this product and maybe find another cleansing balm that is not as irritating for my eyes i like it for the face but i really don't like it for my eyes and so i would just like to go through this and then get a new one that would probably be not as irritating for my eyes so i've got this perfume that i've had for more than three years this is the armani quartz summer and i would like to make some healthy progress on this not use this up because i have 
a ton of other perfumes in my collection that I like way more than I like this. So I know, I just know, being realistic, I know I would be gravitating towards them. But just because it's a little forgotten in my collection, I would like to make some good progress on this. I bought this when I was getting married and I smelled this on my sister. And I strongly, strongly believe that when it comes to how a perfume smells, it has everything to do with a person's body chemistry so it smelled amazing on my sister but when i started using it i didn't enjoy it nearly as much so i mean it's been sitting idly in my collection not doing anything so even though i don't expect to finish this up i would like to see myself make some healthy progress here maybe use half of what is left here in this bottle by the year end so up next is a single eyeshadow this is by wet n wild and it's in the shade creme brulee it's a cult favorite everyone loves this eyeshadow it's just a simple cream eyeshadow that you would use to set your eye primer um, and it's really good i have to agree it's a pretty good eye primer setting powder just something you would begin your eye look with uh, and i already have a good dent going on in this product i don't expect to finish the entire eyeshadow by the end of the year but i do expect to hit pan on this and i do want to see myself making some good progress on this eyeshadow because i do have a lot of other cream colored um, eyeshadows in my collection that i would like to get to and this one's just the oldest out of all of those so this is the first one that i would like to make some progress okay we're down to the last product i feel like i've been filming forever this is the elf glitter glue and this is definitely going to be a challenge i'm not expecting to finish this up by the end of the year by any means i just want to make some healthy progress if you've seen any of my tutorials here on youtube chances are you've definitely seen me use um this guy and this is just a product that I use almost every single day but still I, I I'm nowhere near finishing this product up glitter glues will last you forever I'm telling you I have made progress on this I will insert a close-up so you can see that there are some empty gaps all over this tube but there's still so much in here that I don't think I'll be able to use this up by the end of the year but by the end of the year I'll be prepared to throw this away since it would be pretty old by then so yeah guys that is the last product i'm hoping to make some good progress on by the end of the year comment down below letting me know what are you planning on finishing up this year if you're not planning on finishing up the, anything this year or using up anything this year then i would encourage you to because project planning is not only a ton of fun it's also pretty eye-opening in that it tells you not to buy as much because it really takes forever for products such as these and a lot of these other things as well to really go through so we don't really need as much as we buy so yeah guys that completes this video thank you so much for hanging out with me and i will see you guys in my next one bye